good morning how you guys doing you guys slept well i have one pimple here and it's annoying anyways okay so i just actually just woke up today is thursday uh the 24th today is thursday 23rd actually yeah and i will not be going to work today like i said yesterday wednesday was my last day at work for now until like after i recover fully i took three weeks off of work based on doctor's um recommendation <clears throat> as a period of recovery so yeah i just got up trying to pack you know the things i'll be taking with me to the hospital i bought some bubble dresses i think i showed you guys about two of them i had one before that was given to me by my previous boss and shorts i'm taking one short two big t-shirts i just need something as free as possible and then i'm taking you know let me just show you guys things i'm taking basically all right so here i have just oil you know my glasses comb my purse so these are the two t-shirts i'm going with and the shorts my undies this is what i'm wearing a two-piece and then this is the bubble dresses too that i got so this is the bag i'm going to be using it's my school bag i use in like going for like packing my things and stuff like that so yeah and i think i placed an order for my night oil so i'm going to be she will send it today so once she sends it i'm gonna pack them alongside this this is my oil this palmas cocoa uh, is running very small but i like it a lot so i'm gonna go with it as well so yeah basically that's what i'm going with i took some uh sanitary pads as well i don't know what the process would be like maybe afterwards if there's going to be like any form of bleeding whatsoever so i just took a few there just in case and if need be i will get more when i get to the hospital i'm going to find a place to add put my my dr rashaw vitamin c and niacinamide uh, toner i'm going to like it's a container to put like small or i'll just take like the whole thing yeah so basically i think those are the things i'm going with there's lip gloss lipstick and yeah of course so that's all um from here yeah i think that's all basically for these things that i'm taking with me yeah that's that's basically about the things i'm going you know to the hospital with so if there's anything probably just you know get there when get it when we get there so yeah uh, i'm gonna pack up now i have a shoot for my business so yeah it's gonna be like my last um shoot for a while <clears throat> until i recover fully to start modeling my items again that's when i'm going to buy new goods so i bought new goods of recent you remember the bodysuit i talked about last we brought more because the last sets were sold out so we had to bring more i really pray we sell out because <laughs> baby girl we need money we need money as much as we can so if we should ignore this my ngeke hair trust me i just want to carry my hair like this like i'm not even feeling like any wig whatsoever i am not feeling it at all so yeah that's that so after packing up i'm going to clean the house my mom is coming today i'm going to clean then i'm going to model um my body suits i'll be posting them uh today as well by two I was supposed to go to the hospital by three so i pray that my mom gets there before then <clears throat> so yeah when she gets here i'll go to the park pick her up come home and then from there or we'll just from the from there if she's not carrying any like luggages and stuff like that we we'll just go straight to the hospital or better still come home from home we'll go to the hospital direct so yeah however it is i don't know but we'll figure it out so basically that's it i still have my soup and stew so i think i'll make swallow for her so she won't come home and eat yeah so i think we'll just have to come home <laughs> first yeah so I don't know if I'm, I'll still be like able to like eat anything proper proper like food food but I might just be on liquid you know after 12 I don't think I'll be able to like take anything anything like that so I'll just be on liquid for today most of it so yeah I think I've gone through like uh, an operation before and that was the same thing that happened I was taking it because even two days I didn't eat properly like that one it was bad because it was two full days like I was in secondary school then so I had to come back two days the day they thought they were going to do the this in procedure that was not the day they now did it so i had to now stay hungry i only took tea that night before i slept and that was it and the next morning we were in the, already in the hospital so anyways that's by the way so that's all i actually have to do this morning pack up my things clean the house model have my bath then model the things that um things that um i'm going to be selling by later today and yeah so 
if you don't know i sell um thrifted wares these very sets are not even thrifted they are very clean very new nigerian made but they are new so if you don't know you can follow us on my page my business page at varon empire we deliver nationwide you can also follow me on my personal page at official vani i'm going to try to link you know the names on the screen here so you can see and follow us all right so so far so good how am i feeling <laughs> see it's a mixed feeling i will tell you one hand i'm happy that this thing is going to be over they're going to take it out it's all going to be over on the other hand i'm a bit like scared because you know going for a procedure i've never had like a c-section procedure right this very one you know is a c-section procedure basically like so you know what that is it is more tier you know the one i did before was for append appendix and it wasn't like you know the, the sec the cut wasn't so much it wasn't like very big that's about 10 years ago and it's almost like there's nothing there right like when i wear crop tops and show my tummy you don't even get to like see the incision like very well because it's already wearing off so yeah it's mixed feeling but i will tell you for free that um if you have the opportunity of taking it out it is better you take it out with god by our side we'll go in there come back super strong you know because these are the things that hinder women from a lot of things and we don't want that we're still young you know you haven't given birth especially work when you have not even had kids and all these things they can hinder you from even giving birth so but as christ tarries <clears throat> fingers crossed we'll go in there come back you know safe and sound and just continue to pray for me for you know for me to go in there and have it done successfully and come out without any complications i also pray the healing power upon whoever is going to be going through um going you know on this um journey be me <clears throat> i also pray that god every nurses every doctors are going to be there in the theater that god almighty will pass you know their he his healing power you know upon them and they will pass it on to me and i'll be well in jesus name so yeah so that's how i've been you know i've just been speaking to myself i've been telling god you know this is what i want i don't want any form of issues let it be done smoothly and sound you know just like the very first um operation that i did it was safe it was sound there was no complication whatsoever you know until they were supposed to take out the stitches you know but i thank god that it wasn't like you know a, a terrible situation basically so i pray that this goes smoothly even better and the healing is even faster because i need to get back to work like i need to get back to work even this prayer that i'm away i know what it looks like but it's all good fingers crossed we'll be back on our feet soon so yeah that's it let me know make this video very lengthy already so i'll see you guys later okay see you later hey guys we're here we're at the hospital already my mom is here she's actually in the restroom i've cried today they were busy looking for my vein they've chuk 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 big one very big needle they were chucking it on my hand they could they still did not find use the big needle to find it so there's one small one they put so i just hope that they don't have to have any reason to put it again so it's not a funny experience anyways they made me cry the whole me i've cried this evening but yeah come on see my mother come like this come now if you see my mother you know that you have seen me i don't need to even ask if this is mommy vanessa <laughs> so she tie her tie like like one this uh -huh. Business Talk time. now. Greet, greet my YouTube people. Hello. How are you? I hope <laughs> all is well with you. God bless you. <laughs> if she never talked that one, <laughs> she never, she never reached us. I was waiting for her to say it. She's for even Coco great now. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> Anyways, um, so that's it. We've done everything that we needed to do. So it's a I'm in a private um, room. I actually requested for it because I don't want the station where we'll have to be with like other people. I have my mom around. I cannot, you know, do all of that. Plus, my husband is going to be coming as well. You know, like he's going to be going home and coming back. He's not sleeping here, right? So, but then in case he wants to like sleep at least, let there be like, okay, just one minute. Okay, so sorry, my husband called. So they said um, after 10, I won't be able to eat again. So I want to quickly eat at least. Let me put something in my belly. And yeah, so that in case I want to like, you know, pull, I can do that from now till tomorrow morning before the 
you know procedure also you guys should just keep praying for me and yeah i'm putting it out here you know not because i just want to share you know but because a lot of women of my age you know and above are battling with this thing and you need to like check yourself more regularly basically so yeah when we came since i'm covered by uh what's it called with my hmo all we needed to do was just get authorization and everything from them saw the doctor they admitted officially and yeah so that's that um yeah i think the place is okay let me just see this is okay this is what it looks like just a small bed i bought my bed sheet from home actually because i did not want hospital bed sheets <laughs> so yeah and the restroom area too is clean so maybe tomorrow i'll show you guys or maybe when i'm able to stand up here i'll show you guys so yeah so that's 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 about that see you guys see you guys okay yes. hey guys good morning welcome to the due day <laughs> so i actually just woke up i had to take drip all night because i stopped eating us uh, i think around eight terrible because it needs to be like at least 12 hours you know um before the procedure time so yeah i just had my pads and i'm all dressed up so once they call for us yeah we'll head out so i had some so many visits yesterday like the nurses that came in you know they were, had like different sections you know, the doc they came in, one came in to sign like also sign the consent and stuff like that. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, fine, thank you. One came in for us to sign the consent form, which myself and my mom did because my husband had already left that time. Then so the consent form basically is like I said yesterday, is to give them like go ahead, like okay, you know, whatever it says, just make sure that you do what it needs to be done, right? And then yeah, sorry. Anesthesia person came as well. Those are the ones that give you the injection that you won't feel any pain during the procedure. So before they usually do like the general one. I think when I had like my appendicitis um, surgery operation, <clears throat> that was what they did. They did the general one so you get to sleep. But this very one you don't sleep. They say they don't do that anymore because a lot of people usually like go from there, so they don't want things like that to happen. So usually what they do now is they just give you like anesthesia at your back. So she was explaining it yesterday. And they'll give the anesthesia like at the at your back and then numb so from your stomach down to your leg you won't feel anything that place is numb so that even when they are cutting you removing your you know your uterus to like detach the you know fibroids and all of that you don't get to feel any of those things she also explained some other things like the pains after the surgery saying how you know how um painful it is but that's why they put um, they also put like a catheter like at your back as well so that they can also help you in suppressing that pain you know so she was just like i should just prepare like trying to like prepare me mentally for, you know for what's gonna come basically that's what i'm gonna say so so far so good um i, I mean i believe i'm gonna go in there i'm gonna come back super strong you know what needs to be taken out needs to be taken out so for me that's it i'm not I'm trying as much as possible to you know to keep my hopes alive as long as christ is involved i know that i'm good already you know it's just for the process to happen that's just what it is so i know that god has already gone before me and everything would be fine so yeah that's that about that um they had to like take out the drip let me show you guys they had to take out the drip so that i could go shower so i don't know if they'll still put it back but i still have this other one so there's one other one that is like super scary there's like another um this thing like this that they, they need they need to put just in case of blood transfusion that one is very big that was what made me cry yesterday they couldn't even get like the right you know vein to do that yesterday so when the anesthesia person came she told me that ah, that they will still do it though just that they will that in fact the that needle is like the biggest needle they use for that so that they will still that they, for they will look for the right vein and put it just in case of blood transfusion so just basically like preparing them in case they need to like give you fluid while in the theater or in case they need to give you blood while in the theater that is if you're losing like so much blood or in my case i know i've already prayed to god and i told god i'm not going to lose any blood that is abnormal i'm going to lose the normal quantity of blood that i need to lose and i'm not going to receive any any uh, donation whatsoever so yeah 
I think basically that's it. So mm-hmm. I think I might have to cry another round of cry this morning again when they're about to fix that um, this thing. So for now, <clears throat> we don't know the time of the surgery yet, but usually they said it's going to be like in the, this morning, anything from 8, 8.30 to 10 thereabouts, they should have decided. So that's it. So yeah. I think that's it. Maybe let me take you guys and show you guys what the room looks like. Okay, I've been talking. <laughs> okay, so that's my bed. I have to bring bed sheets from the house to cover because yeah, I'm not comfortable with hospital bed sheets. That's my mother. So this is the drip. So this is the bedroom. All right, this is it. So basically, that's it. Actually, it's nothing. It's nothing. You know fancy so yeah that's that i'm just gonna like lay down although i'm trying to like sit up a bit because after the surgery i'm probably going to be lying down most of the time so what's the point of lying down let me just sit down and rest my back a bit i've been lying down since yesterday night tired of lying down and i know i have like more days to lie down you know? so so yeah that's that keep praying for me forget about this my going back my head i'm crying on after this whole thing we'll be back to our normal lifestyle but now it's my mother looking at me for now let us carry this old woman looking hair first <laughs> yeah this old woman looking hair man. i look like our wife so that's it guys i will see you guys that will be after the surgery i can't believe i'm saying that yeah it's okay okay i am back my baby boy is here out of it yet and by the grace of god as god we have it it was successful the time that they used was pretty short i'm gonna try to insert the picture of what they took out of my body 16 fiber it's only god that made this possible and i can't even thank him enough i didn't get any blood transfusion god is wonderful guys so i just wanted to do this video i'm trying, still trying to rest but i needed to do this video real quick you know and let you guys know that i'm fine by the grace of god my surgery was successful so yeah see you guys okay.